Hi students. So in previous lecture, we discussed how to perform addition and subtraction of complex numbers. At the end of the lecture, I have given you the assignments. So first of all, we will complete the assignment, verify the solutions. I'm giving you the solutions, verify your solution. Then next we'll continue our lecture. And here the first question is, find the value of i power minus 127. Okay, in previous lecture, I told you that if i power, the iota of negative powers can be written as, I am writing this is as 1 by iota power 127. Then try to solve as it is, what it is. So, 127 must be expressed as a multiple of 4. So, that means, can I write this is as 4 times of 31 plus 3. 4 times of 31 plus 3. So, 124 plus 3, 127. Okay, now here the remainder is 3. So, now I can write this is as 1 by, if the remainder is 3, then I will get as minus iota. Okay, if the remainder is 3, we will get it as minus i. Okay, so we know that. So, what it is? If the remainder is 0, we will get it as 1. If the remainder is 1, we will get it as i. And if the remainder is 2, we will get minus 1. If the remainder is 3, we will get minus i. This repeats. Okay. So now minus i. Now simply rationalize. What it is i by i. Then what you will get over here minus of 1 into i. We can write as i by i square i into i i square minus of i by i square is minus 1 then we can get the result as plus 1 okay you will get the result as plus 1 okay the first solution is plus i sorry the first one solution is plus i i power minus 127 the result is i Okay, now coming to over here. The second one. Find the value of sum. Summation n is equals to 1 to 13. i power n plus i power n plus 1. Okay. So now, which can be written as summation n is equals to 1 to 13. Okay. So can I take it as i power n as a common from this one? Then I can write it as 1 plus i. If we multiply, what is i power n into 1? i power n plus i power n into i, i power n plus 1. So now this 1 plus i is independent of n. So we can write this is as outside 1 plus i into summation n is equals to 1 to 13 i power n. Now substitute these values. So we can write it as 1 plus i and n is equals to 1 we will get it as i plus n is equals to 2 i square i power 3 plus i power 4 and so on finally i power 12 plus i power 13 okay and we know that sum of consecutive any four consecutive iota powers is zero sum of any four consecutive iota powers is zero so that means i plus i square plus i cube plus i power 4 is zero similarly i power 5 i power 6 i power 7 i power 8 is also zero plus i power 9 plus i power 10 i power 11 and i power 12 the sum is also zero and the only leftover term is i power 13 then we can write this as i power 13 then find out the value of i power 13 which can be written as i power 12 into i so now which can be written as i power 4 all cube into i so i power 4 is 1 1 cube 1 so simply you will get it as i so i power 13 you will get it as i so the resultant is 1 plus i into i 1 plus i into i just simply multiply over here so 1 plus 1 into i i i into i i square 
so which is nothing but i minus 1 or minus 1 plus i is the required solution okay so now coming to the third problem what is given 1 plus i square plus i power 4 plus i power 6 plus i power 8 so on i power 15 okay so if you simplify this what we are getting 1 plus i square i minus 1 and i power 4 i plus 1 plus i power 6 i power 4 into i square i power 4 is 1 i square is minus 1 i power h so which is equals to next i power 4 all square i power 4 all square which is equals to plus 1 i power 10 i power 8 into i square that means minus 1 and so on okay so up to i power 100 term okay up to i power 100 term here clearly that i power 100 can be written as i square all power 50 so if we simplify this what we are getting 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 i goes on up to i square minus 1 whole power 50 we will get it as a plus 1 okay so this is totally i square power 1 2 we can write this as i square power 50 1 to 50 so from i square to i power 100 we are having 50 terms okay in these 50 terms 25 terms this is minus 1 plus 1 are alternating minus 1 is 25 times and plus 1 is 25 times these will cancel out these will cancel out and uh, you will get the required result as 1 plus 0 so finally the solution is 1 okay finally the solution is 1 so this is a way of solving the problems regarding the iota okay so now moving forward continuation to our lecture in the previous lecture we discussed how to perform addition and subtraction on complex numbers now we will discuss some properties regarding the addition of complex numbers so one property is already discussed in the previous lecture what is that property so z1 plus z2 equals to z2 plus z1 and we can do it any manner the resultant is same this is called as complex number addition is commutative complex number addition is commutative okay so if i consider z1 equals to 4 plus 3i and z2 equals to minus 3 plus i and I am considering Z3 equals to 1 minus I. Okay. First, I am adding these two. Z2 plus Z3. And what I will get? So, add the real parts together and imaginary parts together. If we add the real parts, minus 3 plus 1, I will get it as minus 2. And add the imaginary parts, plus I minus I. And we will get it as 0 times of i okay now for this add okay for this add the z1 now for this combination add z1 okay so for this what it is z1 is 4 plus 3i 4 plus 3i plus z2 plus z3 resultant is minus 2 plus 0 times of i okay so which is equals to the resultant is add the real parts together and imaginary parts together 4 minus 2 2 3i plus 0i will get it as 3i so finally add 1 plus of z2 plus z3 we are getting 2 plus 3i now we will perform in another manner first perform z1 plus z2 okay now perform z1 plus z2 what will get z1 plus z2 4 minus 3 okay 4 minus 3 is 1 okay and uh, plus 3i plus i we will get it as a 4i okay for this result z1 plus z2 
add z3 z1 plus z2 for this result add z3 then what i will get 1 plus 4i plus z3 is 1 minus i okay addition add the real parts and imaginary parts separately add the real parts together 1 plus 1 i will get it as 2 and add the imaginary parts so 2 4i minus i will get it as 3i again we are getting the same result so that means so that means and what we'll get over here so z1 plus of z2 plus z3 equals to z1 plus z2 plus z3 okay so that means this addition okay addition is follows the associate you can associate in any way that the resultant is same so the complex number addition is commutative and the complex number addition is associative and now the another important one so additive identity additive identity so what is additive identity so if a complex number if a complex number is added by any number if a complex number is added by any number its identity does not changes it is the same number itself for example i am considering z1 is a complex number so by adding which complex number again i will get it is as z1 okay the identity what we are adding that does not change the number so by adding which complex number what we will get it as a z1 itself otherwise so what is the identity to be added to a complex number to get as z1 okay simply that if we add 0 if we add 0 so if we add 0 plus 0 i then again i will get it as a complex number z1 itself for example now i am considering z1 equals to 3 minus 4i so what is the additive identity of this complex number so the additive identity of this complex number can be considered as z1 plus what it is 0 plus 0i okay so which is equals to 3 minus 4i plus 0 plus 0 i and what it is we will get again 3 minus 4 i so always in the complex numbers the additive identity is the additive identity is 0 plus 0 times of iota so which is the important one so the number which does not changes the identity of it of the number that is called as a additive identity and another one additive inverse and another important one additive inverse so then what this is okay by adding which number the given complex number will become zero okay by adding which number so let i am considering z is a complex number by adding which number this will become zero this will become zero okay by adding which is the number it will become zero so that number is called as additive inverse of complex number given complex number okay so considering an example what is an example just consider 3 minus 4i itself let consider z1 equals to 3 minus 4 times of iota so which number makes this is as 0 so to make this is as 0 to make this is as 0 so 3 must be subtracted that means minus 3 and 4i minus 4i is added with plus 4i minus 4i added with plus 4i then we will get what it is 3 minus 3 0 minus 4i plus 4i 0 then we will get it as 0 then what is here minus 3 plus 4i is additive inverse okay is additive inverse inverse of the complex number 
3 minus 4i is additive inverse of the complex number 3 minus 4i. I think now you understand the difference between the additive identity. So simply additive identity is 0 and uh, additive inverse, additive inverse for the given complex number simply find the negation of the complex number, the negative of complex number, negative of that complex number will become the additive inverse the negative of that complex number will become additive inverse what is the negative of a complex number if z is a plus iota times of b then negative minus z is equals to minus a minus ib simply just the regular real numbers consideration minus z is equals to minus a minus of z equals to minus of a plus ib and we will get the result as minus a minus ib so which is the concept related to the properties addition of complex numbers is commutative addition of complex numbers is associative and additive identity is 0 plus i and additive inverse is minus of the complex number negative of the complex number is become the additive inverse thank you